19-year-old Marius Chastea suffers from paraplegia after a recent skiing accident. He's paralysed from the waist down. But now he says he has some cause for optimism. I'm happy because I can stand up again. I'm able to walk again, to move around a bit. I hope some sensation and strength will return to both of my legs, eventually. The exoskeleton that's helping Marius and other victims of paraplegia have been developed and tested by scientists from a European Union research project. Both physical therapists and neurologists see enormous advantages in the prototype. With conventional rehabilitation, these patients wouldn't be able to walk along these parallel bars without any kind of help. It would be absolutely impossible for them to regain the sensation of walking. This exoskeleton allows these patients to get that dynamic sensation in a natural physiological way. The exoskeleton allows the patients to move their hips, and these hip movements are absolutely key in all conventional rehabilitation techniques. Walking again is fundamental for these patients from a psychological point of view. For them it makes a huge difference to leave the wheelchair for just a short time and have an adult view of the world instead of the sight height of a child and being able to stand up again and look at other adults in the eye. But researchers are now looking further. They dream of helping victims of paraplegia to walk again by controlling exoskeletons on their own with their brains. It's an ambitious aim, full of challenges. Ideally, we'd like to develop a system that's able to control the exoskeleton just by capturing the signals coming from the patient's brain cortex. We're still not able to achieve that for a number of reasons. First, we have the skull barrier. The skull stands between the brain signals and the instruments developed to measure them. That means that often the signals we get are not neat, nor clear enough to be used. We then have the difficulty of dealing with the vibrations caused by the exoskeleton itself. This constant noise disturbs the quality of the brain signals we get and makes it difficult to use them. To overcome the difficulties, researchers are looking for shortcuts to the brain. And one such shortcut is through the eyes. So they are working to help the retina to stimulate the brain so they can identify and isolate the brain signals to potentially control the exoskeleton. We know that the signals we're sending to the eye arrive to the retina in a given wavelength. The brain then has to match the wavelength to be able to read those signals we send. As we, researchers and neuroscientists, know these wavelengths, we can eventually filter them from all the signals coming from the brain and to retain only the waves with that particular wavelength. And those are the brain waves that can eventually be used to control the exoskeleton. It's complex research that scientists hope will provide reasonable solutions to victims of paraplegia in the short to medium term. We foresee an eventual marketing of a system like this in around three to five years at the earliest. But before that, we have to make the whole system stronger, easier to use, and also less expensive to produce.